Tony. Hello? Tony. It's Phil. Phil. Phil Collins? Oh, yeah, kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, make it snappy. I'm lost. Relax. You'll do great. No, I don't belong here. Just remember what I taught you. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't even know what this audition is Boss for. Is that? You'll find out when you get there. I'm like, you know, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. I'm seriously having second thoughts here. I know. <laughs> I know. It's just nerves. Just... Have faith and keep going. What? Keep going. You're, you're in the right place. Welcome to another episode of Getting Deep with Scoop Nemeth. I'm Scoop Nemeth, and today we interview Todd Simmons, the talented man behind Tony Anthony, the sleazy Hollywood talent manager who guides Phil Collins through the CD world of acting in Denver, Colorado. And he's also the one who loves to stuff his face in every woman's fish taco. Tony, welcome. Thank you. Todd, you're well versed in the entertainment industry. Could you tell us more about your career? How long have you been in the business? And what drives you to perform all these years? Oh, good. Well, <clears throat> let's see, I guess I started out as a stripper in my early years, and um, since stripping, I'm, I'm kidding, I never really had a stripper. Um, <laughs> I've been performing for a long time, you're right. I started out in theater, I've been doing a lot of theater, and I do stand-up. Um, what drives me to perform? Uh, since I was a kid, I mean, I've been performing since I was a kid, and it's just something that gives me great pleasure when I'm in front of an audience and getting a reaction from them, whether I'm making them laugh or making them cry or, you know, scaring them or whatever. It's just that reaction and that commune with an audience. Having been in different circles of entertainment, from comedy to film, from Vegas to New York, what is it you like about the Denver scene? Well, the Denver scene, I guess well, the only thing that brings me back to Denver is just this is my home. I grew up in Colorado, and uh, I love this area. I love Denver, and I love the people in Denver. So, you know, it's the scene itself is just the city, the city itself that draws me here. Is the Denver entertainment scene same or different as it is represented in the art of acting out? <laughs> well, in the art of acting out, I actually think uh, I think there's probably more work <laughs> than what there is in Denver. Really, in the art of acting out, I mean, you don't. Uh, the I mean, the kind of things that Phil gets sent out for would be nice if we were actually getting sent out for that kind of work in this town. Um, mostly, this town's got a lot of theater and a lot of comedy, though there's there's a lot more film coming. There's a lot more independent film, but. Um, I don't think it's anywhere near as whacked out as what Phil has to go through. Is there anything that drew you is there anything that drew you to the character of Tony Anthony? The promise of unlimited Viagra. I can't. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, actually, you know, when I saw the audition notice, they were looking for a Danny DeVito type. And that was I thought, well, I guess that's me. I could audition for this. I just thought I felt fit the type, and I thought, let's give it a try. Let's see what the show's all about. They say actors with major roles create a deeper history with their character. Have you done any of that? Um, I've done absolutely no character work whatsoever for Tony. Um, it's amazing that I could even remember my lines from shoot to shoot. <laughs> You're so serious. <laughs> no, I, um, you know, I mean, you do, the only character work I do is it's just being in that moment and knowing that Tony's there for a reason, what he's trying to accomplish, what he wants, 
and then just being in that moment and reacting to what's going on around me and reacting to what's given to me. Can you share with us any of the Tony that you know that we may not see in the series? For example, does he have a family? I don't think Tony has a family. At least in my mind, he never had. Um, Tony, the way, I, the way I feel it, Tony's been living on the lamb for so long, he doesn't stay around in any place for long enough to have any sort of family or any sort of connections. He just, uh, you know, Tony's kind of a lone wolf out there. In episode three, we see Tony as a contest judge throwing the outcome of a foot pageant for the boss. Just how much by the balls do these mobsters have Tony? Depends on how much Tony has had to drink. The more he drinks, the more they get to play with his balls. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. But in reality... As the, I mean, in my mind, they really, he's messed up big time with the boss. And he's done something horrible, and he is really um, flying by the skin of his teeth at this point, trying to make sure that he stays alive and trying to make things good with the boss. So, yeah, they got him pretty deep. What were some of the chat? What? What were, what were some of the challenges of the production? How much time do we have? <laughs> um, there was a lot of challenges with this production. I mean, the fact that we were in so many different locations, um, shooting outside. I mean, we did a shoot that was so bitter cold. Um, that one was really challenging just because of the cold itself, you know. And like the bitter cold, the bitter cold, like the opportunity. That's exactly right. It was freezing that day, very cold. So. Were there any fun times, any shoots that you enjoyed? Um, there was there was a, several where we were snorting cocaine off the butt of a hooker, and those were a lot of fun. Those were great shoots. I had a great time doing that. Um, she eventually, uh, well, it turns out she was the producer's mom, but um, she was really go cool uh, doing the shoots. But um, the most fun I had... You know, actually, that probably that very first shoot we did when we got the whole cast together and really got to meet everybody and see each other, the shoot was not running smooth, but we had a lot of fun on it. Just getting to know each other was a lot of fun that time. Can you tell us about any upcoming projects you've got? I'm actually doing a lot of stuff right now. Um, I perform a drag character called Mona Lot, and I have a new web series I'm doing called a uh, lot of laughs and so that's going to be coming out soon and I also have a new show that is premiering at Herman's Hideaway next month called uh, Mona Lott's Big Fat Dirty Game Show the game show for the socially unacceptable so um, working on that as well and then I'm just uh, picking up gigs here and there for comedy well Todd Simmons thanks for taking the time out to be interviewed by me thanks Scoop appreciate it that's all for Getting Deep with Scoop Nemeth. Tune in next time on Denver Open Media, where we get balls deep with another Denver talent who has worked on the art of acting out. I'm Scoop Nemeth.